Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between social psychology and sociology. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the difference between social psychology and sociology. Let's look at the similarities first. After all, they sound kind of the same. They both have social in the name, and they both do have some involvement with the idea of being social or looking at social groups. But what's really different is what these two groups of scientists are looking at and what they need to know. So, what are sociologists and social psychologists looking at? Sociology studies the behavior patterns of large groups. For example, demographic groups like millennials or boomers. Sociologists are trying to see how entire populations do things. The American Sociological Association defines sociology as the study of social life, social change, and the social causes and consequences of human behavior. On the other hand, social psychology looks at how the behavior of an individual is when they're in a group. So how belonging to a group or organization affects you personally. Social psychology is still focused on individual behavior, whereas sociology is the behaviors of large groups as a whole. The other big difference is what social psychologists and sociologists need to have backgrounds in. We've talked on the channel before about how psychology is a life science, like biology or anatomy. In order to understand individual behavior in the brain, psychologists have to have a lot of knowledge about the neurology of the brain of humans and other animals. Sociologists are the ultimate social scientists, meaning they have to focus on things like social stratification and cross-cultural communication. It's important for psychologists to study how individuals behave in groups, because a lot of the time we are interacting with others. What other people do while you're in a group can impact your behavior. Every single one of us has had experiences where we exhibit behavioral changes to go along with the consensus of a group, whether that's going along with what your family wants for dinner, or voting a certain way, or buying a certain phone or a game because others our age have it. Likewise, it is extremely important for sociologists to study large groups of people. Sociologists give us an understanding of social and group life that psychologists just can't capture. Sociologists can predict group behaviors the same way psychologists can predict the behavior of individuals. If you want to know more about your social life, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!